I won't say that stock market is bad or cryptocurrency is bad. No, they they have made money for people. If you root all your money into such kind of instruments which are coming with a high risk, then the, the probability of losing the money is also very thick. Because when we talk about stocks specifically, these are for long term. So fixed salary is fixed income. It's debt where you're right. not going to lose anything. Okay. And this is equity business. So you naturally in the initial years you might not make money, but in the longer run, definitely you're going to make some great great money out of it. I want to take this to a next step kind of thing and this will be uh this will be very I don't know if if it's a risk out there in market right now like bad investments or bad debts or something like that is there anything that a person can actually end up losing money in bad investment or what would be a bad investment so there is nothing called as bad investments these are all the outcomes of bad decisions you make okay So I won't say that stock market is bad or cryptocurrency is bad or NFC is bad or any kind of risky instruments are bad. No, they they have made money for people. But the problem with us is that we make wrong decisions. As I said, when you are uh, maybe at step three and you're jumping into something like stocks and all, then you're going to lose money. And if you lose money or if you root all your money into such kind of instruments which are coming with a high risk. Then the, the probability of losing the money is also very high, much higher, much higher. Because when we talk about stocks specifically, these are for long term. So uh, I generally have this explanation for my uh, investors also. So I tell them that okay, you take salary as your uh, fixed income and business as your equity. So today, when you start, say for example, you start a business and uh, maybe you invested one lakh rupees in that business. So tell me if after three months of time, if you feel that uh, uh, this particular business is not working anymore, and you know you are not getting good customers for it, and you think that okay, no, yar, ye nahi chalne wala, hmm. you close down that business. Yeah. Do you think you are get getting back that one lakh rupees which you invested? Oh, not possible. Like, Absolutely no. not possible yeah. because you might have invested into some depreciating asset or some kind of instrument where you are not going to make money out of it. Fair Maybe twenty thousand, thirty thousand, forty thousand, you may get back. But not more than that, ideally. So the similar situation. Uh, let's say you started a job at ten thousand rupees or twenty thousand rupees a month, and after three months you feel that no, yeah, this job is not for me. This is not a good environment to work, and then you plan to quit it. So tell me one thing: how much money are are you going to make after three months from your salary? It's sixty thousand, of course. Twenty, twenty, twenty. Yeah. Nobody is going to say you. Nah, nah, nah. You have to give back the money. Ah, no, no. Not That's possible. not going to happen. Whatever yeah. you have earned is earned. It's not going back anywhere. So that's the difference. Okay. Because when we talk about fixed income, whatever you have earned is earned. Okay. So that's why it is good for short term. Now let's take this story only for next five years. Okay. Now five years you are working for some company. And five years you have spent doing your business. Okay. These are two conditions, two two areas where you have wor- been working. Yeah. Now tell me, uh, five years you have been into a business which has been like you have been actively working on it. You have been pushing yourself as much as you can to okay. build that business. Yeah. Do you think this business is going to go haywire and you're going to shut it down after five years, or what do you think? You may grow somewhere. The probability. Probability. I think I, I would probably grow somewhere, right? Because exactly. I'm spending five years into it. I might be doing True. something right. So some the the key point is consistency because right. you have been consistently doing something. Something right. So five years is a very good big time for you to generate good uh, income for your business and right. generate a good value for your business. So naturally, what now? Tell me one thing. What do you think? Will you be making more money in salary over year in five years time? Or you'll be making more money over here in a business which you started with just rupees one lakh. Definitely business. Def- definitely. definitely. Business. We all understand yeah, that absolutely. point, but we do not understand that aspect. That here we have taken a risk. Right. We have taken a risk that nahi hua to kya to there is a loss associated Possibly. the way Possibly. I explained you in three months time you plan to give up that business. Right. Right. So there is a negative return. But when you think about five years, ten years, there is no negative. There is nothing like negative because you're, you're consistently doing consistently. it. You're consistently growing, and you're making money out Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, also the risk and the time factor comes in. You're leaving your nine to five job to work seven days a week sure. on your own business. But then, of course, the returns is definitely higher. Going to be higher. Yeah. Absolutely. So it takes a lot of efforts. You take a you take a risk. So definitely, you will be rewarded for it. Absolutely. So that's the difference. So that's how uh, I differentiate things. So this is so fixed salary 
is fixed income it's debt where you're right. not going to lose anything okay and this is equity business so you naturally in the initial years you might not make money but in the longer run definitely you're going to it make some great money out of it